Cyril Rioli returned from suspension, but Hawthorne's defence had to get used to life without Ben Stratton, who was out for the season with a knee injury. West Coast captain Darren Glass, the 15th player to reach 200 games with the Eagles. Sean Burgoyne, the first to get the Hawks on their way. Mallard in the square, thought about opening up the angle, just puts the Jets on and bangs it through. First goal of the afternoon. Josh Kennedy found the big sticks with his third attempt before Luke Shuey broke away with only one thing on his mind. He has the flying shot and he drives it through from the impossible angle. We'll have a look at Luke Shuey here. This is just a great finish off a couple of steps to thread the needle. After Lance Franklin got on the board, Kennedy sent West Coast to the first change with a 10-point lead. His second directly out, never in doubt. A 50-50 call They're tied into each other and I'd rather see that let go. Paved the way for Franklin to land his second from a free kick before Rioli launched one from long distance. From 60, goal square, all the way home! It wasn't touched! Jared Ruffhead given the goal right on the line. We did get oh, a little toe, toe on it, Ruffhead. Rioli in the thick of the action to push Hawthorne further ahead. Gives it up instead, Lewis from 35. Two in 15 seconds. Andrew Embley with a snap to lock it all up at 32 all. From a stand start, all about the bounce, kind bounce. Darren Glass all in one piece after this collision with Rioli. It gave me a headache. <laughs> Hawthorne led West Coast 34-33 at the long break before Franklin opened the second half with his third. Squeezed it in. Perfect start for the Hawks. Andrew Gaff replied six minutes later as the Eagles continue to poke holes in the Hawks' defence. Rosa will do. Normally a very good kit, Mac Rosa. 74% by foot. Hits the target most of the time. And hits this target this time. West Coast Eagles in front. To the right of screen, Glass homed in on Franklin. Buddy then bounced back to put the Hawks in front 19 seconds into the final quarter. Franklin waltzes in and for some reason wants to bounce it through. Brad Dalziel unable to take advantage of an open goal. If you're going to play on, run in and kick the goal. Franklin with his fifth to open the biggest lead of the game. Brings it back. Awesome! Scott Selwood gave Shane Savage anything but a soft landing before Grant Birchall set up a winning lead. Gives it off, Birchall runs to 45. They're at breaking strain now, the West Coast Eagles. After Franklin followed in with number six, the Eagles eventually found their feet. Collects it and kicks the goal. Gives it. them life. Kennedy kicked back-to-back -back goals to bring the Eagles within range. He's kicked three to cut it to an eight-point game. But the Hawks hung on to make it three wins in a row. Full-time Hawthorne 10-12-72, West Coast 9-11-65. Yeah, it was a tough gig. They were a quality team, West Coast, and put them in trouble over and get that close to us. It was a good team effort by them. And, uh, we had to fight hard for the full points, but uh, we're lucky enough to get over the line today. Charles Christian, Big Pond Sport.